Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to the last homely garden. You're very welcome here. <clears throat> if you've come over here from the last homely house channel, which is where I do all my crafts and all my quilting and sewing, then you're very welcome indeed. But if you've arrived here and you don't know what I'm talking about, then just let me explain that this is a second channel that I've launched from the last homely house to talk about all the things that go on in my garden. So I'm Kate and I live here in this cottage in the north of England. Uh, it's um, quite high above sea level. This is the third video that I've made for this series and in the first one I explain all about the conditions that I have here and the little plot of land that I'm custodian of. And so uh, it's June as I'm talking to you now, uh, just past midsummer. It's been Oh, glorious weather. In fact we've had uh, here in the UK we've had a bit of a heat wave for six, seven, eight weeks of no rain. So I've been used to going round every night with the hose pipe watering everything in sight especially here in the polytunnel which of course uh, you know dries out very quickly because it gets quite hot in here. Then just a few days ago we had a massive change in the weather here and torrential rain and the temperatures drop by quite a few degrees. It's still quite warm but it's nothing like as hot as it was and we've had mercifully we've had rain and the ground has been grateful and has been soaking up all that rain and the gardens really responded uh, and the growth now is fantastic. So uh, but it has meant that we've had a couple of rainy Tuesdays with my gardening team. So I have help in the garden I couldn't, I just couldn't do all the things that I do that needs to be done in a garden this size uh, on my own. So the last couple of times that the gardeners have been um, have, has been pretty wet uh, and so I want to show you one job that uh, they were doing. Uh, it wasn't pouring with rain. I mean we all did get a little bit wet, let's be truthful here. Yeah we did. Uh, but the job that in hand was uh, we managed to complete that. Uh, and then uh, there was a lovely day where it didn't rain and you'll be able to see at the end what I did with some of my wonderful garden bounty. And so the rain has been wonderful, really, really spectacular uh, to see the changes in the garden. Sometimes I talk about gardening being like warfare and I do have uh, some problems in the garden like all of you do as well, I'm sure. But we have a resident deer that lives in the front woods here and it's so far touching wood very quickly has not been in my garden this year but it has been in my neighbours gardens eating some of the vegetables that they've planted uh, so that's been a bit of a nuisance uh, yeah i also have like everyone who grows brassicas probably white butterfly who come and lay all their eggs on my um, brassicas and so I like purple sprouting broccoli, kale, cavolo nero, um, I like all of those things and I like to eat them, not the caterpillars. So one of the jobs that we did in this last couple of weeks was to build a protective covering for one of those beds that's got most of those brassicas in. So Adam and I were doing that, so that was fun. Here in the polytunnel Everything's growing up amazingly well. A few borage. Why did I grow so much borage? There's um, three, four, five, six, seven borage. Now borage, uh, I'll show you a mature borage that I have in my garden. But they grow like weeds, literally like weeds. And they self-seed and they go absolutely everywhere. So I think I might have to find a place to put those where I don't mind if they run riot. <laughs> and then as, as well down here what I've got is um, a tray of radish ready to go out. I could have direct sown them but I didn't have a space for them and I do now. And there's quite a few other bits and pieces that are waiting to go out but mostly everything that's been in these little um, greenhousey things at the end or waiting to go out has gone out. So the garden's looking particularly wonderful at the moment with all the planting that we've been doing and all the rain. So that's what today's video is all about. I just post these videos when I've got something I want to talk about or when there's been something happening in the garden. So not to a regular schedule at all. 
but I really do appreciate you calling by and it would be lovely if you wanted to subscribe. Last time uh, in the last video, number two, I'm going to try and number these videos so that you can find them more easily so that they're in some sort of order as the season unfolds. And in the second video I told you that only 9% of the people who watch the videos were subscribed. It would be wonderful if you wanted to subscribe to the channel. It's a simple matter of clicking that little button in the corner there and putting on the notifications bell because I'm not going to be posting to a regular schedule. Over on my Last Homely House channel I have a regular schedule there and we've just reached our 100,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel The Last Homely House so I couldn't be more thrilled uh, to have got that um, amazing uh, milestone. Thank you so much to everyone there. So let's do the same for the last homely garden, shall we? Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> now let's get into the video. So it's raining, but it's actually really rather nice rain. It's getting a bit heavier now, but uh, it's we're grateful for the rain because we haven't had any for about six weeks. Uh, now I've got a lot of willows. This is biomass willow and I just shoved it in the ground about 20 years ago and this is what happens when you just turn your back on it for 20 years it does that and so it makes for a uh, well it makes it pretty impenetrable down here but it also makes for a lot of shade uh, which is fine I don't mind that in the front woods here but what we're trying to do here say hi, hi. <laughs> uh, we're trying to garden in here uh, in the uh, hen run garden. So today, some of this willow, there's so much of it that it's not going to make much of an impact. Some of it is coming down. So <laughs> we're taking down, or I would say we, they are taking down some bits of willow to provide a little less shade here. And we've got plans for what we're going to do with all of this, which we'll come to in a future video, I think. So this is how much rain there is. I'm actually soaked through the skin now. <laughs> and he's up there with his Fisher-Price chainsaw <laughs> doing really what amounts to pruning, actually. That's pretty much what he's doing up there. Kiss, kiss, this is gonna come that way. Oh, I'm being asked if I would move because it's coming this way. It's coming now. <laughs> Simba! Okay, that's good. So you can see that the kind of size branches that are coming down. It's really just like posh pruning. So I'm just going <laughs> to leave the guys to it and I'm going to go along here a little ways and just show you just how impenetrable this woodland gets at this time of year. It's the middle of June when I'm filming this and it's next to impossible to get through the woodland into the front woods. In the early part of the year, we were able to walk all the way through here and plant these trees. And they're doing really well inside their tree guards. But now it's next to impossible to get through. And so one of the things that we're going to do here, this is a long term plan. We're going to be doing this over the course of this year and next year is make some pathways through here and clear some paths and so the uh, the trees the branches that Adam's taking down now we've got a bit of an idea a plan about how we're going to use those to help make the pathways and so I'm getting very very wet now so I'm going to go back into the house, dry off a bit and get, uh, get a, oh, hang on, here he comes. Watch out now. Here it comes, here it comes. And this was the one Adam was worried it might hit the fence of the hen run garden, but it hasn't because he's pulled it that way. So yeah, these uh, small trunks here, these branches, uh, I'm going to feature in a project that we're going to do uh, later in the year when there's less gardening to be done 
uh, and more maintenance. Uh, they're going to just lie here and re ready for that job. I think it would be quite a good idea if I went in and got a coat on. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do now. You see if we can look down one of these tree guards. Oh yes, look. There we go. Fantastic, isn't it? Okay, let's go back. While the guys are here, Eileen's just uh, hiding. Are you hiding from everybody? Are they making too much noise for you? Hey? <laughs> you don't have to hide, Eileen. Oh, yes, I do. Eileen loves this weather. Lovely and wet. bit more suitable. So what's lovely about the work that the guys are doing today uh, in the front woods and it gives us an idea that as we walk through the garden past you know the bits that they usually work on which is the veg beds and the all of the stuff that's happening in the garden you know this bed looking particularly good at the moment planted up last time what we're doing here though is right here it's a very very short distance away through the gate into where Eileen lives and what they've done this morning is they've strimmed a path through so that we can actually walk through and so that also Eileen can get through. And what we're doing here this morning is, um, now, I'll turn us around. It's busy. Are you not the tree get again? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. So we have Adam's taken down one, two, and we're gonna take this third one back down to, it's about 12 foot you've got there, 15 foot. So here's a, good example of what willow will do. This is willow here and this was a willow hedge that I planted. Let's get in a bit closer so you can see the bottom of it where it is actually a hedge and at the time my neighbour's children used to play football in their bit of garden next door and so and always, they'd always kick it into this bit here, which was a vegetable garden. So I planted this willow hedge, maybe what, 10 years ago? And they moved away before the hedge grew at any height. But if you look at it now, it's now every single one of those little twigs that I put in is trying to be a tree and succeeding. So this will be another winter job for the team to get in here and actually knock this back again because it's now a complete willow thicket. Very good. I wasn't catching it. 
It's very good. <laughs> but here's a bit of video that I made last week when the gardeners were here. And gooseberry time. It's gooseberry season. So I picked enough for this dessert I wanted to make. And quite prickly. And topped and tailed them all. Now, gooseberries are very tart. They need a lot of sugar with them. And so what I had in mind was to make a gooseberry fool, which is a lot of cream, <laughs> a lot of cream. And these gooseberries have been cooked with sugar and some elderflower cordial. And that's a bit of the cooking liquid just to loosen everything off. Then I stuck it all into my little pottery bowls that I made. And there we go. That was for break time last week. I hope you've enjoyed this latest visit to the last homely garden. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with something else. Thank you.